Wow. So, yes, uh, hello everybody. Um, <laughs> out again, and today I've got a special treat for you. For I have an American listener and viewer uh -huh. to my Tube channel, and he's for the first time come over to Britain. He's got some work here to do, and I'm taking him from Heathrow Airport to Sirencester. And his name is Dean Abbott, and he's with me. Hi, Dean. Hey, hello. How are you? Good, just great today. What is your um, impression well, so far? You've only been uh, out of the airport for about three hours, something yes. like that. And what are you, what's, what's your impression well, so far? It's a little bit, uh, I'm, I'm still a little bit uh, disoriented, a little overwhelmed, but I, I, we've been to Farringdon and, now, and we went to uh, Wantage. Wantage, yeah. And uh, they were exactly what I imagined uh, England to be. And, and I've uh, deliberately taken you to places mm. that I think is um, beautiful uh -huh. and interesting. And of course, on the route to Sirencester. And Sirencester itself is also another Hello. beautiful, interesting place. So you're, I'm trying not to show you the shabby side. Sure. Well, it's nice to know that um, there is something of the traditional England still left anyway oh um, yes because you know in america we see we see that you know we don't see the shabby side on television no, so no. much they, you know there's no bbc cozy mystery show that's set in the shabby side and so it's just nice to know that it's real well we I, and i used to do extra work on something called the bill years uh -huh. ago and that was more showing england uh, and its shabby side sure. shab shabby side shabby side yeah um, yes. So I should just tell everybody that we're in a town called Farringdon, um, which is in Oxfordshire, uh -huh. and it's uh, west of Wantage, slightly northwest of Wantage, on the way towards the west side of Britain, where we're heading to Sirencester. And let's just pause here. We'll put this behind us for a second, because I, I don't know this. I don't know this town at all, but here we have what would be classed as your old market hall I'm guessing and where those people are sitting um, I'm I would imagine that is where the dairy market underneath oh. would have been because your cheeses your milk um, anything to do with the dairy products back in the in the sort of medieval uh -huh. times and and George Georgian times um, would have been down there and look at those columns and you can tell those columns and columns are quite old there you see yeah let's, on the top of let's have a little walk through sure you know what a what a great uh, thing it is to even be here and to see that this is real and that that people live here see in America we don't have anything quite like this I mean there are in New England there are some towns that sort of are like this but that's only 5% of America and the yeah. other 95% completely um, different. Like I said, yeah. strips with a Walmart and, um, or a massive big city. We don't have any, our, our small towns are, are not preserved and active in the way the two that I've seen this morning are. So does this, does this kind of um, blow you away a little bit yeah, actually yeah. seeing it? Because you, you admit yourself that you're a, an, an Anglophile. An Anglophile, yes. And so to be here, yeah, I'm a little bit blown away by it. Yes. Cool. See, this would have been a coaching town. Yes. Uh -huh. So coaches en route from probably to London. Yes. Um, I don't know where from, but probably from Sirencester um, down into London. They would have stopped here and they would have rested whilst they changed the horses. You explained all that once on a Naked Englishman episode. Oh, there you go. You, I think you were reading a book about it and you were talking about it. I yeah. remember that. Yeah. So it's 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 a Saturday. It's a market day today. It's the 29th of July. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on. I think they've obviously got some band or something going yeah. on in the in the town centre. It's always nice to see that at least there's a, a collection of people coming out to support the sure the town and what's going on. It's like a it's like a little festival here. You can see the booths and uh, people. It looks like children's clothing. And, you, and of course, that's, I mean, that's, you, you, you have all that in America. You just sure. don't have the, just the, the backdrop. And these lovely old um, food trucks. Or tr something. Food trucks, yeah. Gourmet burgers and ah. what have you, which is all very nice. Breakfast special. 
Oh, and well, then then the ride. The ride. You, you want to jump up there? I'll hold the camera. Yeah, here you we wanna, go. Look. You want to take a spin? Take a spin. Uh, I might be too big. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful church here. So again, we we when we were in Wantage, we didn't have the camera filming, but um, there's a magnificent church here, uh, there. But now, I just want to look at look at this over in front Whoa. of us. Here we go. So I don't know if that's the vicarage next door, but this is, you know, these ivy-coloured buildings. Yes. Um, let's just have a little wander up here just to show you. This is so quintessential what the Brits like to sell to America. Right, exactly. This is really an Astley house it is. It's private property and we yeah. probably can't go up to it, but... Uh, yeah. And there, as an American, let me, I noticed that iconic red telephone booth that's the first one i've seen oh yes let's just see if we can find that on the old camera it's just down there they are dying out yes, unfortunately I if they were disappearing but there's one i as a child i always thought they looked like the tardis yeah <laughs> i guess the tardis is a phone the the, it is, is a phone it's book. a police phone box isn't yeah. it uh-huh so here we go we're walking up all saints Far Far farringdon up the the lovely pathway with all these um, ancient tombstones. Would you call, Americans call them tombstones? Uh -huh. we, do you call them gravestones Gra as well? Tombstones, or gravestones, headstones sometimes. Headstones. This looks like a very old church uh, um, in, I don't know if this is what they call oolitic limestone. I see. Now that's a, is that the same? As in the Cotswolds where we're going? Is yes, it yes, because we're, we're, I guess we're, we're, it's a sort of sandstone uh -huh. basis now. I don't Ooh. know if we're allowed to film in here, but let's just, anyway. until somebody says otherwise. Ooh. 